am Nancy Addison, and today we're going to do Jump Starting Your Day with a Better Breakfast in Routine. It's so nice to be here again talking with you. And one of the things about being healthy and having more optimum health and maybe even reversing some health situations you might be challenged with or even trying to improve your weight. One of the things I think is so important is our morning routine and our breakfast. You know, how do you start your day off? Do you wake up and have a cup of tea or do you have a cup of coffee and then run off and not have any breakfast? Or do you get up and work out and have a big healthy breakfast and head off for work? Well, one of the things that I really think is so critically important is Number one, I like to exercise, and I like to exercise first thing in the morning, and I know that's not possible for everyone, but I'd like to suggest that when you could, working out in the morning before you eat breakfast helps stabilize your blood sugar, and it can really oxygenate your blood and really get you going for the day, and I find it gives me a much higher vibrational way to get my day going and I really it's like hitting the floor running and what they've found is this the research really shows that if people are trying to lose weight and they get out and they exercise before breakfast they will actually have better weight loss than they do if they work out later in the day so if it's possible you know set that alarm a little earlier put your shoes by your bed just really commit to it and get going now one of the things i've been doing that i found to be so effective is i've been doing h-i-i-t which is high intermittent interval training and so what does that look like it is Actually, exercise that has short bursts of using a higher energy during that exercise. So let's say you go for a walk in the morning and you're walking and about every 10 or 15 minutes, you add a little jog in there. Like if you're with a friend, for instance, if you're really pushing it for that one minute, in between that 10 minutes of walking, you're going to want to go so fast that you can't talk to your friend next to you. So if you can talk to your friend and carry on your conversation, you're probably not going fast enough. But if you're walking, just every 10 minutes or so, just put in a short burst of high energy workout. So maybe you walk faster. Maybe you just put in that really high walking until you can't talk to your friend and you just do that for a solid minute and if you do that about every 10 minutes for 30 minutes they found that that actually helps you lose more weight it boosts your metabolism by like 35 percent and it is the most effective way to get your exercise and I found that my YMCA has some really great classes early in the morning, and they are so popular, but they're 30 minutes. And a lot of these personal trainers that teach these classes, they switch what you're doing every 30 seconds. And so, you know, look into some classes in your neighborhood or at your local place where you go work out and see if they don't offer any of that. And then also, I switch that off with weight training. And weight training helps, makes your bones stronger. It makes your muscles stronger. It really is how to get much more strength in your body, but also it helps with balance. And as we age, we really need to concentrate on this. And another study found that when you do weight training, you may not think that it really affects your your weight or anything, but it will actually increase your metabolism by about 35% for almost 35 hours later. Uh, so, you know, really stick with that and uh, add some weight training in with some cardio and try to do it before you eat breakfast. I know a lot of places put coffee out wherever you go. Coffee can be good, and of course, it depends on the quality of the coffee. You want organic coffee, you want it to be less acidic, and there can be better varieties than others. But when we have coffee, in fact, a study showed that uh, one cup of coffee 
for a diabetic person, it would take three units of insulin to bring their blood sugar down. And that's just one cup of coffee. So what it is, is that caffeine shoots up our our energy level so high. So let's say this is normal. And so when we have something like caffeine or sugar, it shoots us up to an abnormal high of energy level. And so we think that this unusual high is actually normal because we're so used to it. And then when we come down and crash after the caffeine wears off or after the sugar wears off, then we think what's normal or what if it goes even below that, we feel really tired and then we tend to want to go get another cup of that caffeinated drink or more of that sugar. And I know this because I was hooked on caffeine in my 20s and I was just roller coastering and I was pre-diabetic. So I just went cold turkey off of caffeine for about 90 days until I really regulated what I felt was my normal energy level. And once you get there, then when you have these abnormal surges that really stress out your body and your pancreas, then you realize that, you know, that isn't the normal energy. And so we want to be like this and be very, very steady instead of bouncing all over the place. And when we stress out certain parts of our organs, it, it makes all the other organs in our body work harder. So let's say we're stressing out the pancreas and just imagine this, you know, we have a big, huge uh, wagon and it's being pulled by five horses and one of those horses uh, get sick and falls down. Well, all those other horses are going to have to work really hard in order to pull that wagon along with this sick horse that's fallen. So it's kind of like the organs in our body. You know, if we're stressing out one organ abnormally, then the other organs are going to have to work harder. And so I think, you know, what we want to do is we want everything to work in harmony. And so not putting any abnormal stress on your body is a good thing. So if you feel like you need a little caffeine in the morning, try to limit that, try to have a better quality. And uh, I would suggest trying to pull yourself off of it so that you don't have to have it. Drink water and that hydrates me, gets me going. And if I really feel like I want something warm, and I know so many people, they want something warm in the morning. You know, it's comforting. Uh, I've been having a really delicious matcha tea, which I make with uh, alternative non dairy milk. I use either non sweetened hemp or coconut milk, or I make my own milk with with rice or, or things like that. And I make this matcha tea, which is a green tea, and I have it warm. And so I can have that warmth in my body, especially on a cold morning. Or you could have like a green tea that is very soothing. And, and you know, see if you can switch it off and don't feel deprived of anything. So if you feel like you need some energy, uh, one of the things that you can do is add just a tiny bit of pure coconut oil to like even your tea. Uh, this healthy fat can actually give you more sustainable energy than caffeine and it will support your brain health and uh, it doesn't have the downside of uh, shooting up your blood sugar abnormally high or preventing your body from absorbing nutrients. So, you know, it just adds a little extra to your tea, and I don't, I don't really see anything uh, uh, on the downside of that. So if you, if you feel like you really need a little something, then you know that's a good alternative. After you go work out, or if you're not working out, I really do recommend having something in your stomach in the morning. The analogy is if you go out and get in your car and it's empty of gas, you know, can you really expect it to get you going and get you where you're, you're heading that day? And it's the same with our body. It, it runs on this food as fuel. So you know, what are you putting in your body to give it that fuel for the day? Quality is very important. One of the things I love to do, and I've been doing this 
really almost 30 years I raised my children I just I love making healthy smoothies in the morning and I like the smoothie idea because I can put all kinds of stuff in there and uh, some of it may not taste so good on its own but I put it in a smoothie and it, and it tastes pretty good in, in the long run and so I can uh, put all kinds of things like my fulvic acid and my minerals in it that may not taste so good all by itself and I can uh, pack it into my smoothie and so you know that is something that is uh, easy to do and then if you really do have to run out the door you can put it in a travel cup and take it with you I have some clients who quite literally will make a smoothie in the morning and uh, one of them has three kids and and they're very, very small, and, and a lot of times she is running out the door. And she just takes it with her, and she says that she'll just sip on it, like, all morning long. And then she's not even hungry till 3 or 4 in the afternoon because it's so filling. I use a really high-quality protein powder. You can uh, look at what you are using. I have a bunch of ones recommended in my recipe books. Uh, I, I guess they're recipe books, they're nutrition recipe books. They're about half, half recipes. In fact, my How to Be a Healthy Vegetarian book just won another award, uh, Best Health and Wellness Book of the Year in the Green Book Awards. So I was really excited about that. Good, healthy, plant-based protein powder is something that uh, I recommend, and if you want some ideas, just go to my website, organichealthylife.com, and on my recommended products page, I have some links to different companies that I buy my products from and I use and I have found to be uh, very, very good for my health, and uh, I like organic, and I also like the plant-based because it has been shown over many, many years and through extensive research that the plant-based diet is really what heals the body. Uh, in fact, there was a recent study of 6,000 people between the age of 50 and 65, and they found that people who had high creature intake protein, and that didn't matter whether it was eggs or dairy or fish or chicken or beef, but if they had a high protein diet, they were 75% more likely to die of any disease and five times more likely to die of cancer and uh, four times more likely to die of cancer and five times more likely to die of diabetes. And if that was a high protein diet, a plant-based uh, variety, then it was the complete opposite. They were 75% less likely to die of any disease. So what the studies have shown is that the plant-based diet really prevents heart disease, uh, diabetes, and it can really help prevent many forms of cancer. <clears throat> so eating a more high-quality plant-based diet is a great place to start. And even if you don't want to be 100% vegetarian or vegan, Starting with a plant-based breakfast is a great way to start your day off. So using an alternative milk for your smoothie is a great thing to do. So I get unsweetened vanilla varieties if I'm buying those. And uh, there are uh, quite a few on the market today that are very easy to get if you're in a place where you have access to healthy grocery stores. But if you don't have access to healthy grocery stores, you can use nuts combined with milk in a blender to create a nut milk. And I have some recipes in my books and also on my blogs. If you are needing a nut milk recipe or a rice milk recipe, and then adding some of the protein powder. And then I also add a lot of other things into my smoothie in the morning. I was talking a while ago about how coconut oil gives you a lot of energy. 
Well, I add some coconut oil to my smoothie along with some omega-3 fatty acids. And I add either cold-pressed hemp or flaxseed oil. And those are plant-based omega-3s, which I think are a healthier version of omega-3s. Because remember, we're going to try to limit creature protein and increase how much uh, plant-based protein and plant-based foods that we have in our diet. So using a plant-based omega-3 is a great way to uh, cut out if you've been doing like fish oil or something like that. If you want to uh, try to switch over to a plant-based version of that, this is a great way to do it. So I combine the cold press flax or hemp seed oil in my smoothie with the coconut oil because when those are combined, they make a medium chain fatty acid, which is in, uh, comparable to the fish oil. And it is readily absorbable by your body. And so the omega-3s are essential because our bodies don't make those and we have to get them from a food source. And they are essential and they are anti-inflammatory. So most disease is inflammatory and caused from inflammation. So we want to decrease that. So having that in our breakfast is a great way to have that in our diet for the day. And then those oils are really going to give us energy and support our brain health. In fact, the coconut oil, it has some wonderful qualities to it. It has ketones in it. Uh, so many people today are struggling with memory problems. And one, you know, I guess Alzheimer's is the one most people know about. And it has risen dramatically over the last 30, 40 years. In fact, it rose dramatically after they decided that fat was the demon of the diet and they started taking fat out of all the food. And Alzheimer's just, oh, went way up off the charts and really fat is what supports our brain health well alzheimer's is a lot like diabetes of the brain uh, the brain's not able to access the glucose in the bloodstream in order to utilize that properly for energy and what the coconut oil does is it provides ketones which allows the brain to access the glucose in the bloodstream without using insulin and so it's been found especially combined with omega-3s to to help uh, with alzheimer's and memory and also healthy fats in our diet that along with giving us a lot of energy they tell our bodies how to use protein and carbohydrates as well and so you know all of these things that we add to our diet they are like a symphony and so your body's just going to run like a symphony the rest of the day and of course all these nutrients they work together and they can just create so much better health for you and for your family I hope that you've gotten some good tips this morning for starting off your day in a healthy way and really putting together some healthy, delicious ways to to get you and your family going for the day. And I love sharing this time with you, and I look forward to visiting with you again again in some of the future videos and I just want to say that I believe that how we do anything is how we do everything so as you go through your life and you touch the people around you just remember to add that main ingredient and that main ingredient is always love <music>